tonight, especially in New England. Same exact place that was hit hard just a few days ago with wind gusts to 95 miles an hour in Cape Cod. This time, not 95 miles an hour, not even close, but still 55 mile an hour wind gusts, that's really possible. So that's windy enough. Uh, and a lot of folks are starting to, still trying to recover from the fact that they've been without power for, for days. So let's start with this. Um, you know, you probably saw the video uh, of a lot of flooding around Annapolis, Maryland, in and around the Chesapeake Bay area. Well, we have these high tides. We're approaching a new moon, which elevates those tides even more. An onshore flow, big waves out in the Atlantic Ocean, push the water into these nooks and crannies. Now, Annapolis, Maryland has seen a five times increase in the number of coastal flood days since 1990, and that is because of climate change and sea level rise. So we're seeing these tides get higher and higher. Now the storm overnight tonight still could produce some coastal flooding as it begins to wind up. It gets kind of a jolt of energy. Notice here we are during the evening hours tonight, some showers around New York City, but some downpours in southeast New England. Notice those gusts, 42, 45 miles an hour. Fast forward into the middle of the night, gusts to about 50 miles an hour in Cape Cod. Watch Portland, gusts 55, maybe close to 60 miles an hour as we head towards late tonight and early tomorrow morning. But look at this, as we head into tomorrow, most of it begins to dry out, and that's why I think it's actually gonna turn out to be nice for trick-or-treaters across the country. Little bit of leftover moisture here uh, in the Northeast, especially north of New York City, so New England, Burlington, that area. Uh, other than that, generally west and south of that dry. 77 Dallas, nice and warm for trick-or-treaters. 55 in Chicago, a little bit on the cool side. Chilly, upper 30s to near 40 in Billings, Montana. Uh, nice along the west coast for the trick-or-treaters, right around 65 degrees. All right, I want to show you fall foliage. And before we show you the map of fall foliage, I want to show you some video. Just a few days ago, I was in Prince Edward Island. It is a beautiful island. It was gorgeous. It was very, have you been there? Gorgeous, yeah. That's beautiful, Jeff. Yeah, it's very nice. Just northeast of uh, Maine is where it's located. And, you know, beautiful bright reds and, and yellows. They are in peak foliage right now as we speak. If you ever get a chance to go to Prince Edward Island, I would say uh, give it a try. Now, let's talk about the United States. We've been really late. Fall foliage has been late because it's been so warm. Some of the warmest time we've ever seen this time of year has happened this fall so far. And because of it, foliage is a good two in cases three weeks late, believe it or not. But we're approaching peak in most of the Northeast and past peak in some of the highest elevations. Uh, gorgeous around the Great Lakes and also in the Midwest right now. That's where we have some really nice colors around Chicago, west to about Des Moines. Past peak in most of the West. It's been colder out there, plus the higher elevations. Uh, notice that you know generally the colors are, are not as bright as they were, but still some areas, especially in California, where you can view some really nice colors. Lastly, I want to talk about this. Still a really bad drought. Even though we had that tremendous atmospheric river a week ago, the drought is still way up there in the severe to extreme category. We're going to get more help this upcoming week. First storm arrives on Monday. You can see it right there. Not as strong as the last one, but then more help on the way after that. A break, and then another storm moves in on Wednesday and Thursday with a good chance of some heavy downpours as well. So none of this is going to, is going to get rid of the drought, but the good news is it's going to help to put more of a dent into the drought. Something for everyone in that forecast. Jeff, thank you. Happy Halloween. For sure. Same to you. Did you know that there's a new system that allows to pay